WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. we got a mixed bag out here. The Dow and the S&P trading higher. The Dow's up 61. The S&P 8. That's uh, like two-tenths of a percent to the upside. Three-tenths to the downside for the NASDAQ 100 off 54. The Russell's basically flat. The semis are down six-tenths of a percent or 21 points out there. Gold trading out at 19.53. That's off nine bucks. Silver's down uh, 32 cents. 25.60 is the print lights. We crewed up 37 pennies. She's trading at 112.71 so let's go do this here let's go spend some time with our indice charts get a feel for what they are communicating to you and i as of two o'clock in the afternoon on march the 25th if we take a look at the dow the dow has no topping signals now the dow equity future contract has a td nine count pattern which one is correct they're both correct until in the dow until it violates its td nine count top um then we respect that if it gets violated then what we can say is that the dow jones cash indice should go target its td nine count breakdown level and that's in the 35 431 level the s p 500 is going to form bar number eight of a td nine count td nine count tops can occur on bar Bars eight, nine to the bar following nine. Bar nine still has to complete and it has to follow the rules. So we won't know about that until Monday. Well, we could know today because that pattern could get negated today, but it doesn't look like it at this stage. The same pattern is unfolding inside the NASDAQ 100. Bar number eight today. You still need bar number nine to complete, but you could get a top or the high could be in between today and Tuesday of next week. The Russell 2000, just in a sideways consolidation. I don't have it marked off on this chart here, but you can visually see the top and bottom of that consolidation. The semiconductor index here so the semis say you've got an a to b equals c to the upside that should take price into the 3840 level but if we take a look at the etf and i'll pull the smh's over here you're going to see that today is bar no today will not be bar well i don't know if you all you potentially have a td9 count you need to see a spike above yesterday's high whether that's today or by tuesday out there to confirm that pattern so we've got two different signals here which one is more correct probably the socks probably the indice chart out here um uh, which is not taking into consideration dividends and so forth. So it could be this, but it says that the semis want to run higher. The transports, they already ran into resistance at their TD9 count breakdown level. Spot fix index negated as TD9 count bottom. That's uh, positive for the S&P 500. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Thanks so much for joining me this week. Thank you again for doing that, and have a fantastic weekend. I'll look forward to seeing you at 1 o'clock sharp on Monday. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there. Take care.